Feeder, come back around on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I'm with him as well, Steve Merchant. I was thinking of dropping that. What? I was thinking of dropping that, just going, because it's just too, that's all that. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton too. I mean, get to the music, so it's, hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, this is XFM. Sure. Here's Radiohead. Yeah. Some like, come out, that was Radio and XFM, I'm Ricky Gervais. Tony Blair, what's he all about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of, Snap, that, yeah. fast, because I quite, on a serious note, and you've always been saying it, um, I listened to an old show, because when Carl was compiling those things, I listened to an old show, and I listened to me, and I'm, I'm really concentrating now, because I sounded like the most inarticulate, brain-damaged old drunk <laughs> I have ever heard given a show. Yeah. I mean, I was shocked. Not finishing sentences, leaving out words, slurring, just doing noises yeah. that you understand because you know me. Yeah. So I'm really gonna make an effort for the listener. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, is it? You're gonna but, give up after about three But I records. thought you were joking. And I thought it was like, mm -hmm. oh, he's taking the- there? Did it yeah. then, you see? Again, I don't quite know what that sentence meant. No, but- Well, of course, I've got also your body language and your facial yeah. gestures, but obviously the listeners have got nothing else. Got they've got just got the in. voice. They've yeah. just got the voice for it. That's all they've got. That's all they can rely on. Yeah. And, uh, and when Carl Pilkinson is the man holding the show together- When he's the that's most quite damning. articulate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How, how did I come across? You came across as lovely. I mean, I, I did an interview yesterday, right? And I was trying to describe you to this journalist, and I was going, it's like a cat can talk. Because mm. the things you say, I just want to know what your world is. You know when a cat comes in, you go, where have you been? And it looks as you're like, you know, you could, it can nearly understand you, and you're like, I wonder, I'd love to know what that cat thinks. And with you, it's almost like we've got one. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like that? No, you can also lick your own no. testicles, I think, can <laughs> you? So, okay. yeah. Should we play the doves? Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you're having a lovely Saturday. <laughs> Were you asked to appear on Celebrity Fat Club? No, I, I uh, no, was there I wasn't. any? Was there? Was there? Seriously, did an invite? Come no, in? I don't. I don't think they did. I, I, I knew about it, and I was waiting for the call, and I was yeah. going to be insulted, but it didn't come. Didn't come. It didn't. How come. much are you looking forward to it? <laughs> I'm quite excited about it. I, I, I really am. am excited to it. Yeah. I don't yeah, know I'm if very... people know. Are you aware of this, Carl? This is this Celebrity Fat Club. It's a new uh, one of those reality shows. It's ten celebrities, I think. They're all overweight, uh, and they've got to lose weight over the course of the series. And they're um, and they're celebrities. And they're celebrities. That's why I call it that. Celebrity Fat Club. Sorry yeah. for the gut. Well, I'm very excited because one of them is, you know that guy who was in Pop Idol but didn't win in the end, that really big fat guy, Rick, Rick. Waller, Fats Waller, as I call him, and uh, I was reading about him on the, in the, uh, on the web earlier, um, it says, uh, he's been told to lose 17 stone, because they reckon he might be dead by the age of 40 if he doesn't lose weight. Seriously. How old is he now? I don't know how old he is, he's only in his 20s, isn't he? Well, that's still a good but 20 it says, years it says, of cake uh, It says, uh, he was shocked to find he weighed 31 stone when he stepped on the scales at the start of the show. 31 stone? 31 stone. But I love that's the fact- That's really big. I like the fact it says he was shocked to find he weighed it. Yeah. I had no inclination. It got, it got, it got, it got, I kept my eye off the ball. <laughs> exactly. That must be all those breakfasts. I haven't stood on the scales for years and I didn't know how much I weighed, Rick told the son. 31 stone, right. That is having, that is, that is having a man on your back and carrying a man in your arm. Just yeah. basically two men are going everywhere. It is obscene. Because he looks, have you seen me? He looks like one of those people who's wearing one of those inflatable sumo outfits. Yeah. He's just a little head and like a sort of eye. We're not, we're not having a go at, um, fat people. I'm having a go at him, really. No, because it might be glandular. It's not, it's breed. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what? I, this is true. I, when I did, I did that Room 101, and I did one, they cut out completely. I don't think I'd cut it out on taste. I think it was just too long. Um, and I, and one of the ones I put in was fat people who say it's glandular, right? And they'd done the research, and 2% of obese people can claim it's glandular. The rest, they just eat too yeah. much. But right. the thing about Waller is he was going on there, gone on the telly, going, it's good, what a wonderful role model I am for people who don't conform to the usual pop star sort of stereotype. No, you're not a role model for anyone. You are a fat pig of a man. I'm sorry, right, but you are, right. no, Rick, but be honest with you, it this. is obscene. It's not his weight that d disturbs me more, it's his gums. Well. They're all, oh, they've been through a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Haven't they? <laughs> they have been The weight does consume me slightly. Did you- do you remember when he did his version of I Will Always Love You? 
Yeah, but the, the I thought he was just singing about like a buffet or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside the chip shop. <laughs> yeah, go away, Mister Waller. Yeah, D people... just just let me watch the uh, kebab rotate <laughs> once more. No, can I lick the fat off the floor? No, <laughs> you can't. I just imagine those people who run all-you-can-eat buffets when they hear him coming, they shut yeah. the door. We it's close. like a, it's one of those late twenty speakeasy. The front changes into like a laundrette. <laughs> Just move on, fats. It's not. It's, I can smell chip fat. No, 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 no. Move but, on. On you but, go. But um, I mean, we're not Olympic fat Brits. They are so fat. The thirty-one stone is sort of you know quite big. But the American, that one. Did you see that one? Seriously, we talked about it before. That one on Jerry Springer, and he was seventy-five stone. Did you see seventy-five? He was in his bed. Honestly, it looked like a. It looked like a. Um, uh, I don't know, sort of molten lava yeah. in his bed. And it was it was actually sad, and I was really sad, because he was, you know, he was in tears and he was going, this is it, I'm gonna do it. And Jerry Springer took the wall down and they got him, that to get him in a special ambulance and everything. But my point is this, right? When he got to, say, 50 stones, didn't he go, that's a lot, innit? I gotta be careful. For a human. Exactly. You know, for, for someone <laughs> yeah. that lives on land. Yeah. That yeah, is, exactly. that is, I'll tell you, what the, I mean, the fact is they have to have special weighing equipment, so wasn't that a clue? That must have been. The fact they had to get in someone from next door to lift up a bit to tell him yeah. how much he weighed. Yeah, the fact that he featured on the Ordnance Survey map <laughs> should have been a clue <laughs> that We've given it's you your own mail. Yeah, you are, yeah. Stop eating. eating. Oh, no. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs>Always amazing to hear that, isn't it? It's Sugar. fantastic. It's such I can't a change great your mind. tune. I was listening to Copper Blue, the album from which yeah. that's taken again. It's just fantastic. Old it really mouldy. Was. Old mouldy. Mouldy old dough, yeah. as I call oh, him. Exactly. Bob. You've got a real problem with Rick Waller, haven't you? I just... He's, I, he's he, he turns my stomach. I know, but don't... Because he's arrogant that. as well, though. Exactly. I that's don't, the don't, problem. Don't just explain to people that... No, he know, is a bit arrogant. His, it's his, his whole thing, that you, it's the whole package, so to speak, that you don't Well, there's another thing in this quote, because he's It's not just the fact that he eats too much. He tried, apparently, to lose some weight. And, uh, it says, he said, the first month I lost 11 pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on 9 pounds. I had a slip up. Mm. I can't say when, why or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't believe it just sneaked that, up on that me. That body's never done a somersault no. in its life. No. It just uh, sneaked, sneaked up on him. me, yeah. I, 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 it was that. the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same old cakes as before. It was exactly the same Sle Sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC <laughs> bucket again. Oh, it was the family dear. size KFC bucket oh, for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a twenty-something. Well, to be honest, you've got twenty years to live. Yeah, that's not. You know, and when I 20. was twenty, the thought of dying at forty was fine. Yeah. I didn't want to live to 40. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're 40? Yeah. Just laying around <laughs> doing nothing. Eating, eating cheese. cheese. And then you got there, <laughs> and you discovered. No, but someone said dream came um, true. Sophie here sent me something, and she said, "I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I had to send you this." And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing, and it's it's the brand name is Gervais. How oh, old that is? From, Have you been? They've named a cheese after I think you. It, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic. It's all over Europe, and so it that would be a dream come true, it, wouldn't it? If they named a cheese after no, you. No, I think it's. I think it's uh, probably you know ancestors, and so I've cheeses in my blood. Sure, quite. It literally, literally is. Yeah. yeah. It, Another it, heavy Friday it, night, was it? It, it, it? it comes out of pores like those Play-Doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jane, bring the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a fry. Exactly. But yeah, so um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, you're, I, yeah, I, but I you're not big. Like I mean, the, one of the other contestants on that on the uh, Fat Club Celebrity oh, yeah, Fat Club it? is uh, another one is Jono Jono Coleman. Oh, we love Jono. Now Jono, he's, he, I don't know, you know Jono. He's oh. that guy. He does um, he used to be on TV, and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, doesn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's, he's so trivial, and he's a really nice bloke, Jono. It's but funny because he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is is wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. Oh, I love Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I love no, you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met Jono yeah. a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, not wishing to say not uh, to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. Um, like that's showing off. But like people would have seen dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in, like, tuxedos oh, or suits yeah. and ties. Not Jono. <laughs> Jono was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and a shorts, knee-length Bermuda shirt. shorts with just these little. But I saw him again another feet. time, and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event. And I've seen him since in the street, and he's all. I don't think, 
I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that, whether he's just- his no, legs th are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable and, uh, you know, why do you, I mean, to be quite honest, well, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So, uh, if you can go- I'd love to turn to those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course. Flip flops. You know, but do you think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half as a tuxedo with the tie and, and then the shorts for And the shorts underneath and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potted plant. Or a potted plant. Or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, and you are wearing trousers, aren't you? You are wearing Of course I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. just, <they're, laughs> exactly. They're, of course I'm wearing trousers. Why <laughs> of course I'm wearing trousers. And they just thought, that oh, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know, The next zone it. is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a mm. garland around his, and he's yeah. going gonna to come in limboing. But you you did ask if you could go to the BAFTAs in a dressing game, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> just so, for ease. Yeah. Yeah. But, come um, on. Right, is this talking about diets and stuff, right? Go on. They've come up with a drug that, um, they, they tested it out on a mouse, right? They said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight, weight is a big issue in the world and, you know, a lot of people are depressed and that, probably like Rick Waller. Well, right? I'm depressed looking at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could, you could sort out Rick by, you know, John O is an old man, he's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about No, but what, hang on a minute, you've... what I mean is he does his own shopping, right? So, I bet it's Sorry, hard. what do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right? Oh, he's yeah, got I mean. loads of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yeah. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn that you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. Uh, look, uh, just, uh, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> but I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and you think, well, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now and well, again? Well, yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So a, the thing a is, let him finish his point. So the thing <laughs> is, right, now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> That, that sort that Does out. he live a with short, his mouth? A sharp, sharp shot. I, I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so he you, you don't actually know if this is <laughs> true or not? No, but, but anyway, right? So this, this drug they've come up with... <laughs> It's they've tested uh, this on mice, haven't they? They've tested <laughs> it. No, I'm, just, I'm worried if they haven't tested it on mice. Yeah, thank God for that. They're, it's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a <laughs> load of cake. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby and he said, right, stop a minute. <laughs> and then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. <gasps> and it, its weight went down, but the only bad so side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> Well, that seems that seems to be fine then. <laughs> let's give it to Jono. There doesn't seem to be any problem. Oh, let's, let's, uh, yeah, Rick should get some I of that. Yes, Doc, look at these. Oh, Jesus, Jono, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. <laughs> Sorry, that happened to the mice. Mm, but what, what would you do? do you mean? That's the option. It's but, like, what do you mean it's... that's the option? So, so I love the fact that your choice is either being like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, Steve's <laughs> chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, sorry, I thought mate. we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, Let's mate. have a go I... at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, Rick. Yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot. You know what I mean, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I got some issues, some body issues. You I know, know. But I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque. You know. Yeah, sorry about I'm that. I'm just a little bit weird. I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah, should we play a song? And well, I'm just of... a little bit offended. Isn't it? That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Vines out of the way on XFM 104.9. You're listening to The Ricky Gervais Show. With Steve Merchant and well, Carl Pilkington. We've got to try and get on, though. Got there's time not enough, no, not enough <laughs> time. Let's, let's, let's bang on. Let's do some observations, some, <laughs> some yeah. satirical... Take a sideways look at the week's news. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the, uh, fattest person you know, Carl? Is uh, it an issue for you? Are you, are you concerned about fat people? Only if I'm travelling somewhere and there's one sat next to you. That'd yeah. be a bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Ricky pointed out a few months ago, when I, when I went away, we were talking about plane journeys, and you were saying how it's a bit out of order, and when you go on holiday, right, you take your suitcase with you. Mm -hmm. I'm a, this is all was right. Was I saying this good... on air, though, is this my question? Because there's, there's a reason I don't say things No, 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 sometimes. but I think you've got a good point. <laughs> it made me think. Oh, no, it's, I know what it was, yeah. Yeah. It's sort of like, if, if you're not allowed to carry hand baggage on because you're a few pounds overweight, but there's a bloke behind you who weighs ten stone more than you. Yeah. Surely the whole package should be weighed. Yeah. Like you and your baggage. Absolutely. Can he, be should have, 30 he should have a carrier stone. bag. And so that's... I can. So I can take on uh, a Labrador and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. He can take on um, a towelette. Yeah. Yeah. To wipe. Absolutely. His... 
brow yeah. is sweaty, Patrick. fatty brow. Yeah. yeah. No, I absolutely, okay. absolutely right. So, yeah. uh, and that does yeah. wind you up, does it? But I don't. That's the only time. I mean, people can't help it. We don't want to like come across as if we're just having to go at people who've got. But they can help it. This is what we're saying. No, but, no, that's, but that, that's a little bit. But I'm talking about obesity. I'm not talking about people who are overweight or have got a problem with with eating and so on. I, I'm talking about people who are obese because that read to me to be an indulgence. I mean, no, I read no, some no, statistics. Well, 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 if we're getting serious, it, it is a problem, isn't it? Because it, it's an eating disorder. So what what what's what's terrible is is laziness and kidding yourself. But the people who have, have genuinely got a problem. But it's a genuine concern for apparently or... for the future of our children. Apparently, it genuinely is. Yeah. Apparently, it costs. I was reading some statistic that it costs something like. America, it costs them like 119 billion pound dollars a year or something. But that's not why people are obesity. starving because fat people are eating all the food. I'm not There's saying people are starving because of fat people. Oh, you mean? I'm you mean... saying that it's a, no. I'm saying it's a concern. Oh, do we know. meant we'll soon have kids and they're hungry because next door they're all the food. No, I just <laughs> mean that, it, that apparently because exercise now people aren't taking up exercise, kids right. aren't taking up exercise. That we will all be obese in years to come. Not all obese, but yeah. there'll be a, a big obesity. Well, I suppose the natural state for the mammals we crave fat. We literally fat, crave fat for for hard times. But now, but now. There are no well, you're all saying time. offices typing but away. But, but our body haven't evo hasn't evolved yeah. to, to take our social uh, input in. Yeah. So we still act like mammals, mm. and we we eat and we crave it, and we like to store fat. Yeah. That's why we have to go jogging because we don't we don't hunt, we don't do anything. So it it it's not really their fault. You've, it's, it, it, I mean, it is about willpower and, and sort of like you know self. Hate but in years that, to come, we'll have just pictures, like, kids will just have pictures of, they won't have NSYNC on the wall, it'd be, uh, like, sumo wrestlers. Mm. Or, oh, God, um, oh, I, oh, you know sumo wrestlers? I saw this thing about sumo wrestlers, um, cos the, the, they, they're athletes, they go into the, this thing, cos it's a big honour to be a, a sumo, it's absolutely really? true, right? Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah. So, you'd go along, and you'd be nine stone, and you, they, they have doctors there, so you have to eat to get big. Right? right, and this doctor was interviewed. Jeremy's doctor is going. You know, it, it is against. You'd think it's against the Hippocratic Oath, um, but um, whereas they do it anyway, I do it healthily. So he sells them. He gives them diets of like, uh, you know, ten pounds of rice, wow. nine pounds of fish, and things like that. And they get but now because it's such an honour, it's almost a spiritual thing to be a great sumo and all that. Um, they have apprentices willing to now you know like when you're an apprentice say um uh runner or something you have to make the coffee and uh, when you're working an apprentice in the studio you just have to clean the floor and stuff do you know what apprentice sumo's job is an apprentice sumo go on they wipe mm. the sumo wrestlers ass because they can't reach they literally can't reach rubbish uh, right uh, can, what, we'll give who's out the phone taking now. that up as a profession i know I imagine that. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be a sumo wrestler. It's a great honour, and I'd love to work under you. Uh, sure. So, uh, sure. So, uh, what will I do? Start press ups first. There'll be uh, some press ups. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. Will be what, some press ups. Get into the gym now, and uh, no, yeah. I, I don't. Before you rush go off. Go on. Go on. You I'm starving. No, I can understand that. Go on. You d would you mind wiping my arms? Right. Because I've just you can't reach. No. Got no. I can't get the arms back there. Can't okay. get them down there. So, uh, and I'll but, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of this oriental food, it doesn't sit well with me. So it goes straight through me, to be honest. So it's quite messy. It's quite messy down there. It's right. quite runny. Okay. So okay. be careful. Okay. Um, you no, wear some gloves. Honor. If you want to wear gloves, wear I gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. It's, <laughs> it's, it's an honour. This apprenticeship is two years, isn't it? You're, no, you're not going to take my feces and salad, are you? As souvenirs or something? No, no, it no, is, no. I, I will be mainly getting fat myself. Sure. Wiping your ass. Yeah. Great honour. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Well, Great no. honour. If someone could call in and verify that, look, Carl, look at Carl looking at us like we've just said the worst thing oh, ever. No. This is true, like, apparently. Makes your eyes pop out and put in Forrest Gump in a wheelie bin. Don't look How at us like that. This is a. We're talking cultural science here yeah, and, yeah. and wiping asses. Yeah. So. Play a record. <laughs> yeah, it's low brow <laughs> and it's high brow at the same time, Carl. Sure That's that an incredible point. picture. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, this is for all you people who who uh, who like the odd cake. This is Bowie and Sweet Thing. Do you like that? Nice. Sweet Thing. David Bowie. Beautiful. Amazing, off Diamond Dogs. Absolutely. We went to see him in the week, didn't we? We did indeed, yeah. This little Very exclusive gig that Jonathan gig, also got there for people. Us. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see him. Yeah, lovely to see him again. <laughs> lovely to see, uh, see Dave um, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's looking good. He looks great, doesn't he? He was, yeah. Was he bisexual? <laughs> sorry, I don't what, know why I'm Sorry, at the, at the gig? No, 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 no. It's just a fact, because I know he's married now, isn't he, with a kid and stuff. Yeah. But there was some, there was some sort of... Oh, I, I think, um, possibly, I don't know, I wouldn't want to... These pop stars, they dabble with anything, don't they, I suppose? <laughs> <laughs> Try anything once, don't they? These rock and roll stars. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, if anyone knows the, uh, 
the, the truth behind yeah, Sumo. Yeah, well, how does Sumo begin? Because that's what I can't- I've never understood how it began as a- as a- as a sport, because it's- do you know what I mean? Because you are- they are so huge. Well, so I reckon- it's not, I, I reckon it was a fat bloke who was picking on a little skinny bloke, and the skinny bloke <laughs> right. knew Kung Fu and So he goes, right, let's fight, and the fat bloke was no punching. Yeah, and What yeah. do you mean? He went, it's just leaning against each other. Yeah, And they went, yeah. well, you're bound to win. <laughs> yeah. And he went, right, I've won. He went, yeah. bloke, okay. Yeah. And that's how it started, and the, yeah. the fat bloke- He grabbed went, him. Are you- are you wearing a nappy? Well, I am pretty I'm, big, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having white. problems now. I can't I, wipe my I ass. can't wear a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. <laughs> exactly. I just, you know, that's the next yeah. step for John who's been banned wearing a thong in public. <laughs> so. But seriously, if anyone knows how Sumo began, I'm genuinely interested. Email maybe ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, just, because I, I, you know, Carl, what are your thoughts? Where do you think, uh, where do you think it began? Because it's an, don't you think it's an odd sport? I mean, it is a weird. I've always got nice hair. They seem to care about the hair a bit. Oh, sure. So he's sort of nicely pinned back. Yeah. Are you yeah. ever asked to, when, when people are doing like, you know, uh, um, Sharma's Britain or, you know, people are doing like big <laughs> historical <laughs> they, they, they say, well, well, we'll ask Carl about this. He might, yeah. he might have an opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've got I'd nice like to hair. see you as a pundit, definitely, uh, on those kind of on news night. It's yeah. just that he, I think it's a funny one because the whole idea of sport is to keep fit. Yeah. Mm. And that sort of. You know, it's a yeah. bit of an odd one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, it's it's the same as sort of like weightlifting. You have to go through all that all year to see if you can push up, mm. you know, something heavier than someone else. But you have to walk round in a golf buggy to yeah. to you know to that one yeah yeah and take steroids and. But I mean, what? look. I mean, the other day, you know, I, I don't do much sport. I think living in London, there's not that many areas you can go and. Uh, Actually, I'm probably wrong there. Well, there's all the gyms and yeah. sports clubs I'm, and stuff. I'm probably yeah. wrong and the on that and the parks and the roads. But, but yeah. look how like, excited I was going round to your place, Ricky, and yeah. you had a, like a little garden. Yeah. I haven't got a garden. We played football, was, didn't we? And we had a little. Well, I did. No, you were rubbish. I beat you in penalties, um, five two, and then I beat you on uh, uh, knockout. I think ten no, no, four, no. and he always makes an excuse. He goes, "No, start again." We didn't say that. He, or I'm cracking up. So, you, have you seen Ricky play football? No, I've not really seen either. Right, play uh, it's not football. It, you sort of do it like um, <laughs> it's like when you get a cat and you chuck it some wool, you sort of jump on it and lie on top of it so you can't get it, and then sort of kick it with his feet lying <laughs> on the floor. Really? No, what I mean is, he fouled me, and I still, I was on one Are hand- Are you sure up. he didn't just collapse? Yeah, but because of all the stress <laughs> and the exercise. That's the other thing, that's he the other thing. He just tumbled off the floor, still and poured out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was too strong for him. No, yeah. no. I was too strong for you. Yeah, but you didn't last long, did you? It was like, if, if football matches- I didn't matches, want to last if football long. Matches went they just, they just bring me on for the first ten minutes. <laughs> Who suggested that you two play football? Did you suggest this, Rick? Yeah, we went around there, yeah, well, yeah. We had to go and football in the garden, yeah. Yeah. What else do we do? Uh, I'll, I'll look, just had a look at your salamander. <laughs> right, is that euphemism or more? Because <laughs> I know that when I first went to your house, I, you did, you used to show your genitals to people a lot more than you do now. Oh, you definitely used to do that, you used to think that was hilarious. Yeah. I don't know what it is that you get to a certain age, men of a certain ilk yeah, get well, to a certain Jonathan age and just don't, yeah. Out, didn't he? yeah. Yeah, when Ross came in he did the same. Yeah. It's that weird... Yeah, I suppose. I thought. Oh, you've seen it now. I thought you've seen it. You know, you weren't. You weren't impressed the first time to be quite honest with you. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it's you know, it's nice. Always a treat. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of Ricky's place? What do you What do you make of it? Again, that's not a euphemism. Doesn't mean that I've got it's like a flat fish. Yeah. Do you want to see my place? Yeah. There it is. It's It's all right. I mean, I've I've. You've seen better. I've the pictures you've got on the wall. I've I've. I'm not. Not keen on the same sort of art as you are. Right. Have what sort of art? Because um, yours is quite sort of modern art. Uh, He's got this big, like, bit of uh, abstract canvas with like just just loads of dark colours on it. Yeah. It looks really miserable. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It, it sort of brings the place down. <laughs> If, if you're going to sell it, that woman on Channel Five, the house doctor, if she came round, she'd say, "Take that down. Yeah. And I'll get double for it." <laughs> it's just. Oh. It's, it's, it, I oh. thought it was um, like a. A wall Take testing. that down, get that salamander out, and just pop those back in your trousers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, he didn't know what sort of colour to use on the wall, so he's, he's like, been putting a little bit on, no, that's not good, I'll use like a bit of a darker colour, yeah. and it's just loads are of you, different- Are you Brian Sewell? Cos you're <laughs> just saying- So what kind of art do you like? I'm intrigued. Yeah. I, I like, uh, Athena. I like Lowry. <laughs> right. Lowry, the worst painter in the world. The most no, overrated. No, no, no. You see, it depends. You're you're getting excited rubbish. about your your stuff you've got on. 
Lowry, but, right? Yeah. You can look at He his really is the Brian and Michael. No. Of the, well, um, but it's real, isn't it? Right? What do you mean it's real? It's real. You look at his picture and you <laughs> see, like, little disabled people walking about. You see kids <laughs> That's playing, not real, then. playing with, like, footballs. You've got your, your, your dad coming home from work, working in the factory. Got yeah. a little dog barking. It's, it's life, right? <laughs> and you can look at it for, like, ten minutes, go away, go and watch telly or something for a bit, yeah. go back to it, and you'll see different things in it. Really? That, really? What, I, is it like one of those magic sure, eyes? You sure that's not a telly? Yeah, you've you been sure looking at the window, Carl. You sure you weren't watching When the Boat Comes In? People <laughs> will agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than your stuff that you buy. <laughs> <laughs> this show started off slick. Yeah. We had something to say. No, I we, um, What we, are you talking we, about? We're now discussing we art. Were, we were taking the big out of, of, of fat people, and mm. now it's And now you've taken it all highbrow, Carl. Play a record, we come back to fatties. <laughs> Badly Drawn Boy, something to talk about on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Well, then, there's Steve Mitchell. Well, memory, it, let's oh. just get on with a... And we've already had a complaint. Yeah. Someone yeah. saying, your TV show's so good, why is your radio show so hard work, you useless fat? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You, can't, you can't please everyone, Carl. It's like Lowry. Some people like Lowry. Some people like that fella who did the dark painting for me. Talking of uh, emails, there was a, some guy. I don't. He hasn't mentioned Lara's his name, rubbish. or maybe his name's Steve. But he said that he was checking out the uh, the Office DVDs. DVDs going on sale, isn't it? Soon, I think the video <laughs> and the DVD of the Office are going on sale soon. But he was checking it out on Amazon, and he said that uh, <laughs> it says on there, and I did check it, double check it, that uh, it includes uh, some special some special frottage. On the, or special frottage? Oh, is that frottage. How it's correctly That's pronounced. A, is that mutual? Doing it to each I other, think it's, or, it's is it the, or is it the rubbing up against each other? Yeah, it's one of those. It's isn't what, it? Yeah, it's is that what it is? It's where you rub up against. People. I don't know. It's something like that. Yeah. But, so there's some special frottage on there. Yeah. <laughs> <that forward laughs> I think they the mean. DVD. I think they mean footage. I'm imagining. I mean, so. If you're buying it for frottage, you are going <laughs> to yeah, be you're disappointed. Sorely disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> the, 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 we're going to that first hour then was about eating too much, wasn't it? And I think we can. That's essentially that, what we talked about. Yeah. That is probably. Right. Do you, you know? Um, I, I read something interesting. You know, they've banned. I used to get the Guinness Book of Records every year from about the age of ten onwards, and uh, <laughs> it, I went straight went to the section like you know the biggest, fattest, all that. Right? And there used to be gluttony records, and it was like these ridiculously looking Texans, and how many hamburgers they can eat, and of course they were. It was just so dangerous. They've they've put it down to how many hamburgers you can be eat in a minute now. Yeah. And so they've brought it down to things like 17. Yeah. You know, they still yeah. burst their stomach glass ball. But, um, uh, I, I remember I was, um, I was watching The Big Brother when they had to break that record, you know, like eating sweet corn and balancing. I was thinking, who wants to beat that record? Yeah. The, most of the records in the Guinness Book of Records exist because no one wants to contest them. There's one in there, um, a, a bloke there, that had his picture taken with a milk bottle on his head, and <laughs> it's the record for having a milk bottle on his head. Yeah. And it's like four days, I want to go, <laughs> no one wants to beat that record. Mm. And there was one in there, this is amazing, this is absolutely true, right? Like last year's Guinness Book of Records, it says, um, uh, in, in Thailand in 1980. A, uh, uh, some sort of, um, uh, temple or ceremony, these, uh, incense burners fell over and I think crushed people or burned people to death, seven people died, and it's under the heading, Worst Jostic Disaster Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon oh. they're gonna try and beat that one? Oh, God. There's a, there's a guy up north, right, who's, um, <laughs> he's in the Guinness Book of Records <laughs> for being able to put a, you know, a car, a little mini. Up his no, arse? No, on his head, right, and you think, oh, that's good. But without the engine in. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he puts this thing that still weigh, weighs like, you know, 50 stones on his head and you're going, boo! Yeah. What do you mean he puts the mini on his head? He, um, he wears a little cap with a little bit of sponge on. <laughs> <laughs> they all do up there. And they've, uh, and he picks up this mini. Cause, yeah, go on. And he takes like two blokes to put it on his head and then he walks around for about ten seconds showing off. But he doesn't have the engine in it. So, I mean, if you're gonna do it, yeah, go the whole hog is yeah. what I'm saying. See, what I think, the reason I think he didn't do it with the engine in is because he couldn't, Carl. Well, yeah. we'll pick, do a motorbike or something. My mate went to see that, what's that circus that came to London? 
and that was in uh, the Camden, and it's sort of like really weird sort of gothic thing. Oh right, yes, I remember. And uh, there's a, uh, 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 he said at one point this nude woman got into a, a jar. He went, but it was a big jar. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. said it was a jar big enough for a woman. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This big one would go boo. <laughs> yeah. But you know, get into a jam jar. <laughs> exactly. And you know, I'll be applauding. But <laughs> yeah, that, it's yeah. a big jar. That's a jar shaped like I, you. I will get into a wardrobe. <laughs> what, that big wardrobe? Yeah, well, I can get into that. No, you, I will get into the well, wardrobe. I remember, I told you about this before, Rick, I was devastated a couple of years, I think it was a couple of years ago, when I read about that guy that won the world record for staying underground the longest. Like, oh, what yeah. happened, right? He, he got in this box and, uh, he was buried, like, ten feet underground. It was in a pub car park in Mansfield. Yeah, and the only way he could communicate, young. the only way he could communicate was through this tube that they had that went up to the surface and he could talk to people and I assume that was how he got oxygen. And, um, and it said that while he was down there, right, he began and ended a relationship with yeah. a woman. She, right? she was a passerby, she chatted to him, da -da -da. they started this relationship and they ended it, right? Now, my point was, right, obviously, you know, my luck with the ladies is not, not triumphant, and, you know, I haven't got a girlfriend or whatever. You're not and Don when, Juan. Well, exactly right. And what I'm saying is, when you read that there's a man ten feet underground pulling women through a tube, yeah. you've got to sit yourself down and ask yourself some very serious questions. Yeah. I yeah. was a little bit, as you can imagine, a little bit upset From the Midlands? Exactly. Yeah. A little bit devastated. Oh, dear. Really upset me. Do, do you still, what is your method now of, do you still throw little rocks at them and go, over here? <laughs> yeah, I, um, there was a kid I remember at our school, Mark Johnson, when we were like ten or something, and we were talking about Guinness Book of Records, and Mark Johnson went, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> I thought, I'm intrigued, you're a ten year old. <laughs> I said, go on. He went, now, I don't, does this qualify? Does this qualify? He claimed that he was in America once, and he went to see, um, a baseball game, and the, supposedly that game was the world record for the number of people in an audience for a baseball game. It was like some massive stadium, I, I, I and this was the I, most people I'll ever. I'll tell you what his account. I and don't he claims it, he was there. I don't reckon it was listed. Well, I don't reckon Mark Johnson got his name <laughs> no, on that list. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. Ross McWhirt would be going, "Well, that's the whole book." But I think I remember him all. looking it up and going, "There it is. I was there." Yeah. Yeah, Does no. that count? I mean, no, I don't. Well, I've done a similar thing. There was an ice hockey game in Manchester. Sure. And they filled it. It was the uh, the arena. Yeah. They had an ice hockey game, uh, and I was part of it. But I wouldn't go around bragging. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, now you've no. brought it up, I'm telling you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to boast about it. Nah. We're what's not going to get a t-shirt made. What's the best thing you've ever done? I don't what? know. I just... Come on. What's the best thing you've ever done that we will go, did you really do that, Carl? You see, it's weird, cos I've been thinking about this quite a bit. Cos, uh, I'm 30 on Monday. Are you? Are you really? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to try and get presents, aren't you, from the listener? No. Nah. But, I but, say listener. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but, um, I kind of was thinking, have I had a good 30 years? <laughs> what do you I, think? I don't know. Carl, is this going to get a bit melancholy now? Yeah. Because we've been having a few laughs at the expense of fat people. I'm not sure you want to, we want you to bring it down now. No. We, we, just, we, we've, we've been having a jolly laugh about people who are morbidly obese. It's yeah. always when my girlfriend's working away, I always think about odd things. Do you? Odd times. Doesn't she leave you shiny things or videos in so you don't get... You don't get too depressed, you can... Well, what, la last night, when I sent you that text. That was... Right. I'm right, let's play a record. This sounds right. intriguing, because I'm right, worried it is intriguing. Really... It's incredible. Right, play a record. Right, w <laughs> wait for this text that Carl sent me. Oh, All Along the Watchtower there by Jimi Hendrix. Beautiful. Can right. I just say straight away, Rick, before you carry on, um, we've had some people emailing in um, about the origins of sumo wrestling. Yeah. But they've sort of cut and pasted a huge ream of information from the web. Thanks very much, but we need bullet points <laughs> or not, not don't bother. You're wasting our time, frankly, with any kind, any, <laughs> too uh, many sentences, uh, proper grammar. We're talking about Ricky Gervais here. Yeah. So not just, that I'd read the bullet points either, you'd read them too. Exactly, me. but exactly. So but your, your concentration would lapse so quickly <laughs> that it just yeah. needs to be key words, you know, arse, sumo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. things like that. Yes, arse wipe. <laughs> yes, I arse need... wipe sumo correct. Yeah, or maybe uh, even a picture of someone wiping an arse with a tip <laughs> next exactly. to it. If you could get yeah. words if out. You could, if you could, maybe if you could send through the orange 
origins of sumo wrestling in sort of diagram or sketch form, <laughs> yeah. or in a kind of comic book, or one of those flick books. <laughs> that just, you just maybe draw a quick flick book, send that in. <laughs> but thank you very much. But thanks for thinking of Um, I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song, and, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it. I've made my. Yeah, mind. I went, Carl. What is it? He went. Oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went. Well, what what was it? I just got this text. He went. Ah. Uh, oh, I was just wondering. I was, I was thinking last night. He said, "Supposing you had to have your hands removed." Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, "Well, you can either have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there." <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary eyed and I went, the stumps? He went, yeah. <laughs> I went, all right? He went, yeah. And then and what that, was his follow up text to that? And then I got the text that was obviously before it and it went, and it was like quite serious. What, what would you do? So he's not doing hands. Would you have stumps or the feet? Right? Now, the way, uh, when I said he's made his mind up and I went, the stumps, he went, yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do? Because it's it. But why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's this away, right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll tell you devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, <laughs> I had some beans on toast, right? <laughs> She was away. It's good already. Right. She was away. She had some beans on toast. Right. She went wild. Yeah. Right. Now I was stood up. I live on like a on a high street, right? So I'm, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is I can I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it. And it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book. And she's always reading a book every night. And it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's, a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on. He looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on. I thought... Did you witness a murder while you were doing this? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body. The way you can just sort of, you know, I want to pick that up. And you do. Yes. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah, you've got yeah. five little digits, but it's, it's just the right amount to do <laughs> what you've got. <laughs> yeah. To do what you've got to do, right? So... <laughs> So I'm, I'm washing, I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl! Stop! It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this about the evolution of the mammalian front uh, limb? Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount. Huh? <laughs> but it is. It one, is. One of extra would get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it that little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, buy, <laughs> or buying gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. all right, imagine, like, going to the doctors and he's saying, yeah, everything's all right, your heart's good and everything, but... <laughs> your heart's good? What, your Larry's, or...? Yeah, your heart, your heart, your yeah. heart you're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I had Waller. But yeah. you're, you're all right, but your hands need to come off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad, like, I'd get a second opinion initially. <laughs> But I bet a good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> but, Steve! I, <laughs> that'd be tricky. Yeah. And then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. Because <laughs> you had to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. <laughs> you could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd be, was, like, you'd be really yeah. fast. Well, for... that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance. And then I thought, but the only thing is I probably couldn't pull the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Because of the little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you'd run in in half the time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Did sure. you, did you How ever... How long did this take? 
Well, how long has it took to wash up? Right. Because <laughs> I imagine you just being there for, like, all night. Probably 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for, like, ten minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing. It's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants. The old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever goes- Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you look down there, she's just flicking through it. She's just reading this book. The pages never turn. <laughs> she never seems to finish it. Oh, she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going- are dead around I, her. I, I, I'm going into next door again. That little yeah. round-headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me. The bouncer goes, don't worry, love. I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's true. always getting ready. That's true. They're they, probably... see, they see you staring at and washing up going, I could have feet here. And they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. Oh, Carl, dear. can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow, imagine if that little... D- was he a Chinese fellow, did you say? Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he was listening now, I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, do we have this doctor, this doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got, you can either leave him as stumps, or I've got a little pair of feet. Why, uh, I mean, I t- told Jane this, and Jane went, Did, is that the only choice? Is he, you could say, could I have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any, have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have, can I have, what would you rather have then? Human feet or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said No, it wasn't is... an option last night, but don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but is... I'm just saying, at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head, you can go anywhere. <sighs> you're not trapped. Yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say we'll sort us out some other hands. Fair <laughs> point, let's play so, record. So... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come back to this. Someday, XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais. Lads, can I just stop you there straight right. away? Because the record finished before we'd finished chatting about what we're going to do well, next. We're going to do, do Carl's stupid competition again. We're just trying to get the... I think I think that... You, what you are the rules? Just, right, I think Because last that, week it was a shambles, Rick. I know, it was too easy, that's no, the week why. before, I should no, say. No, I think, I think people should phone up now and be held in the queue, and then he should have the clue. Otherwise, because people are just phone up with when they know the answer or not. But how is that entertaining to the listener? <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> That's what I'm gonna I throw think, back at you straight away. I don't think this is entertaining at all. I just think people might want to talk to Carl for us just right. a split second. The way we'll do it, right? Yeah. Right? This is me role here, right? This is- this is the way we're gonna do it. Right. right. We're gonna say, if you want to win The Office on VHS, right? Yeah. You can call don't it Don't say it like that. Like well, it's a rubbish it like, prize. There is some- if you get the DVD, there's some special frottage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it's impressive. Right, so they call up now on 08, 08 700 800 one two three four. Right, yeah. We like bung on a bit of Elton John in a bit. Right, mm. we line up two callers. Look forward to that. It's a beautiful track. Yeah, we line up two callers. Yeah. Right, and then we have them on the air, and we say, right, I'm going to tell you the little story. You've got to tell me what song it is. And they're playing against each other. Well, right. can they be? Could they be up at the same time then, so I can speak yeah. at the same yeah, time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But how can they play against each other? Because they haven't got buzzers. It's or the first one. They'll, they can say the name. They can shout out the name. And and it's organised. And they got as many goes as they want. No, I think no, they no, should no. have one go at a time, and then the other person can have a go, and then they can have another go. Yeah. It's like dueling. It's and, like dueling. And if they don't win, no one wins this week. We're not giving away prizes willy nilly. Sure. You know, <laughs> we can give one away next week again. Because you know, like Maybe the office is not costing us anything. Because we were like involved, know, we can get as many I, copies as you want of that. I like Seriously. it. I like it when like we got them coming out of our. Do you, do, do, do you think the listeners are usually in on sort of board meetings like this? <laughs> or do you? you know, oh, I said this before, guys. I said before <laughs> I we know. should do this off air, but you you refused imagine, to try. Imagine Chris Talent going. Hold on, what they they can they can what are they? They do? can phone they, a friend. They, they can, yeah, they just phone a friend. Look, come down. To, right, okay. Look, we haven't got this. We've right, got this right, right. What Phone up now. Phone up. We'll have to. We'll play some adverts. Phone yeah. up now. Yeah. Right, so so that's the plan then. Okay, right. we're gonna have a beautiful track here. Continuing our wait, whoa, 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 Steve, 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 Steve. Go on. Right, I've said your name five times now. I don't need to mention you at all next week. Right, um, we're gonna play uh, Out and John. Continuing our sort of thing of don't don't diss them just because they're old and bald now. Yeah, they used to be good. This is a beautiful track. I dissed him, didn't I? Yeah. Um, called Tiny Dance. So we're gonna enjoy that. 
Yeah. Enjoy that. Enjoy listener. that. And if, then, if not the now, show. Steve, what were you going to say? <laughs> Thanks for asking. I was just going to say, <laughs> what should the audience be doing now? If they're listening at home, they want to play the game, what should they be doing, Carl? Should they be phoning say you Say the now? phone number they, again. They should be ringing 08700 800 1234. 08700 800 1234. And two lucky contestants get to play um, your game. Yeah, what's the song? What's the song that Carl's thinking? Could I give it? you a clue when you call up? You've got more chance of playing if you don't sound like a mentalist. <laughs> exactly. Most of the people that phone sound a bit like Carl. We're not interested. We don't want those <laughs> no. sort of people. Yeah. We want people who can, you know, who are maybe eloquent. Why are you watch me in my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Out and John, Tiny Dancer. What Beautiful. a great track. Oh, that's that magnificent. Is. Well, we've got. <laughs> di uh, well, despite Carl's actions, you should have seen Carl. It was like squiddly diddly. <laughs> His arms and legs there, he'd have been better with feet, I'll tell you. <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. We were getting angry. At one point, he went, Oh, we get a man and a woman. And the uh, <laughs> bloke phones up. He goes, Are you a bloke? The bloke goes, Yeah, he goes, Hold on. And then another bloke goes, He goes, Oh, you're a bloke. Oh, we wanted a woman. <laughs> and looks at him, he, goes, he goes, put the woman on. She came on, he went, are you the woman? <laughs> it's the way he speaks oh, he's to people. So, who have we got on the line? Here's the woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the woman. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, okay. Right, Steve, you, you, you want to be rooting for this? Well, I think we should, it seems to me because you may need some help because obviously Carl's mind is, uh, is a, a viper's nest. Yeah. It's a jungle in there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you want to call anyone at any point, maybe you've got some questions you want to just consult or can, if, confer, then I'll be I on your side. To. You're like, you're, she's like, you're like her phone a friend. Exactly, I'm the phone a friend. And I'm the, uh, ask the audience. Who's and the bloke? Who's the bloke? It's Owen. Owen, okay, I'll, I'll be um, helping you out. Should you need any help or clues as you know, as insight into Carl's mind, I must tell you though, we don't know what Carl's going to come out with now either. No, we I keep it. We keep it real like this. I should just say for people who've not heard the show before, um, this is where Carl now will tell us a cryptic story, and basically hidden within that will be a clue to the title of a song. I say cryptic. It's it's gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nonsense. So okay then, um, just to find out. Um, uh, who who goes first, my lad or or your girl? Um, I'm going to um, uh, uh, toss a coin in my head. Okay. Say, who, who can guess? Well, first? ladies first. Ladies first. Okay, what was your so name again? Sorry. Sarah. 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 Okay. So, Sarah. Uh, heads or tails? Heads or tails. Tails. No. Right. My lad, will go first. <laughs> okay. okay so, right. so what this means is, when he's finished the uh, the cryptic clue. You, Owen, will get to guess first, but if you get it wrong, it goes over to Sarah, and then back and forth until one, hopefully one of you gets it right. Okay. okay. Uh, we could be here for some time. Yeah. Right. And what, what, what are we playing for here? A DVD or video of The Office? Whatever we can whatever find. You've got, yeah. Whatever format you've got. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then. Brilliant. Okay, Carl, go. Right, so here we go. So then, it's right? the name of a song we're looking for. Brilliant. Right, this bloke, he's had a, uh, he's had a good night out at the yeah. pub. Right. This is probably all irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Um, Remember that, Owen. This could all be irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So he's had a good night out with his mates and that, and uh, he's really enjoyed himself. And he's on his on his way home, and it's just like any any ordinary night, right? Everything's just normal. He's seeing the same people leaving leaving the pub, going home, and he's like, "See you, you know, see you tomorrow night. I'll, I'll be out tomorrow, seven thirty and what have you." <laughs> and and they're on the way home, and uh, it's a nice night. Everything's everything's nice, and he's walking home, and he sees. This sort of, sort of smoke coming out of a grid, right? Some smoke coming out of a grid. Yeah, a bit, a bit of like smoke. And he thinks, what's that? Right? And this is what's weird because it's like any other normal night, but this time smoke coming out of the grid. And he goes over to it, and he can hear some moaning. Right? It's like ooh. So he, he thinks this isn't right. So he stands over the grid, and he's and he's looking down it, and he can't see anything. So he lifts the grid up. Right. Do you mean a grill? No, a grid. A you grid? You know, like a grid in the street. What? Yeah, he Not needs really. a grill. A grill. A grill. Okay. okay. And he lifts it off, <laughs> and he's looking in, and, like, more smoke's coming out, and he can hear the moaning getting louder, and then this little demon pops his head out. Oh. Right? Bloody and, demons. And he goes, are you all right? Yeah. And the little demon goes, oh, I'm hurting. And he goes, what do you mean you're hurting? <laughs> he said, oh, it's dead hot down there, you know. <laughs> and, and it's weird, because he works it out that it's, like, come from hell, right? Yes. And it, it's going, oh, I'm all hot and burning, and all his skin sort of really red raw because of all the flames in hell and stuff. <sighs> so he goes, oh, he said, uh, I tell you what, I I'll take you to the doctors. And the, and the little demon's like, 
what, you, you'll do that for me? And he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And he takes him to the doctors. What's the song? That was, uh, Ricky Gervais, Next FM. It's three o'clock now. We're going over to <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you next week. Bye. Man, a long, that, was, that was quite a long story. Ooh. Is Owen and Sarah still there? Yeah. Have you dozed off? <laughs> you still with us? Okay, Owen. Any clues? No, uh, not yet. I, I haven't got guess. a clue. I haven't got a clue. I've, I, I have <laughs> no idea. Can I think out loud with Owen, do you think? No, I think him? Owen needs to at least okay. have a guess before Go on, have a can. guess, Owen. Uh, smoke on the water. No. Well, it's not, is it? So, it's not gonna be there. okay. Over Sarah, what do you think? <laughs> Bat out of hell. Mm. That's a good guess. No, not- It's not right. Not right. <laughs> right, Carl, you'd have to give him a little clue. Um. Well, think about the little fella. Think about the little demon. Yeah. Okay. There's the clue. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Where did I say he came from? Highway to hell. Mm, on the right, along the right lines, but not the right song. Back Sarah. To Sarah. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. Mm. <laughs> Carl, if this is rubbish, I'm never working with you again. <laughs> If this doesn't work, what do you mean? If this is right. rubbish, <laughs> <laughs> right? Th right. Okay. Take it. Take the main bit of the story. What's happened? We don't know what What's the main, the main bit, bit is? of the story. It took thirty minutes. The grid. There's the grid. We got the grid. grid the yeah. smoke. What's it's he got... done? How did the story end? He went, went to the doctor. He went to the doctor. That's right, the, clue. He went to the doctor. He went to the doctor. Who did he take to the doctor? He went to the little, little demon. demon fella. Why did he do that, Cause Sarah? Cause come he... on, that's a big clue. Right, why did- Sarah, come on, let's think about this. Why would he take a little burnt demon to- Was he burnt? He well, was burnt, wasn't he? He was- he's from hell. Yeah, all the flames yeah. and that, and all his skin hell. was really raw, and he's like- he was moaning in pain. And oh. the little fella goes, yeah, I am on the way home, my tea's gonna be in the oven and everything, but do you know what? I'm gonna take you to the doctors and sort you out. Sick. Doctors. Doctors. Oh, God. Is there man. anyone you got there in the house who could maybe help you? <laughs> like a sort of eight-year-old child? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> An alien. Yeah. Um... I've got a three-month-old baby. Oh. He probably talks more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Not than you. Than Carl, we mean. Um... Oh. Right. Right, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. But these let's poor, all have a chat. These poor people have got lives. Sure. They, oh, got yeah, like we haven't. No, but I know the, the Carl, this I is- I got- there's so many things I could be doing instead of this, Rick. I know, but Carl- Carl- We'll play some ads, right, and They can't back. stay on the line They've for got three minutes- they, they're playing for a video, eh? Three, <laughs> they've got three minutes to think about it. Is that all right with you? Okay. Yeah, and is that all right, Owen? Yep. Sorted. X-X. XFM. Right. Please try and guess this, cos Carl's threatening to roll it over to next week. Oh? I know. I, d I don't want to live a week trying to think of a little burnt devil in a in a grid, as he calls it. <laughs> burnt right. devil in a grid. Devil, <laughs> devil in a it. devil in a grid. Devil in by a grid. Excess. Smoky, smoky devil, devil. Oh God. Oh, um, burnt devil grid. Sarah, any grid? What's a grid? Any he means idea? a grill. He a grill. means the little thing in the grill. in the uh, um, smoke. Burn. Smoke on the water. Bar smoke. Barbecue to doctor. Burnt doctor. Oh, in any any ideas? Uh, devil without a cause by Kid Rock. No. What we're gonna oh, do is, is, is the word devil right? Yeah. So devil's a, a key word here. And you're thinking about what the bloke's- what's the bloke done? He's took him to devil the doctor's- Devil, Why- really why did he do that? Why didn't he just say, oh yeah, it looks terrible, but I've got to get off home? He's, he's a good a, Samaritan. He's a good Samaritan. Right. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a- uh, He's a good guy. Saviour. Devil. Saviour. Devil. For later. <laughs> we're really running out I've of I've got time. it! I've got it! Have you really? Sarah. Yeah. I tell you this, love, you are- you have got something to entertain yourself with in about three weeks' time when we get the, the DVDs and videos through. Cool. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sympathy for the Devil. Well done! <laughs> sympathy for the Devil. Oh, Carl, it's man rubbish, alive. Man. It's, it's rubbish. That's not a cryptic clue. <laughs> it's not rubbish. Sympathy for the Devil. You said he wasn't the Devil, you said he was a demon. Right, yeah, but I one. No. Right, okay. Sympathy for. What, what's all that rubbish about him being burnt and taken to the hospital? Sorry, Rick, but I'm noting a little, uh, a little whiff yeah. of jealousy there. He's so rubbish. No, so I'm sorry, but Sarah cannot, is happy. It's not allowed to try and make people her guess. Her baby is happy. Sarah. Her, her husband, or maybe partner, maybe they're Owen. not married, maybe they're living in sin. She, he's also happy. Yeah. They're happy. That household is happy. Owen's Owen, going. devastated. Yeah. yeah. Owen. Do you, what, do you want it on DVD or video? DVD, please. DVD. Mm -hmm. Sarah, okay. thank you very much indeed for playing. Cheers, Owen, commiserations. Sarah. Sorry, Owen. Yeah. Triumphant. Another You're triumph. You're so rubbish, Carl. Carl. You are so rubbish. Oh, you got it right. Oh, dear. Rubbish. 
Well done, Steve. Jealous. Jealous. I love it. I thought it was a great one. Nice one.